questions about top leadership at Charlotte's transit system. We've previously told you about a top manager of the cat's bus system who was forced out from his last job. A report found he misused thousands of taxpayer dollars. Well, tonight, WBTV investigative reporter David Hodges has discovered something new you need to hear about. The man running the light rail system also left his last job. It was amid allegations of serious safety violations. It's tonight's cover story. For cats, getting people where they need to go is only part of the mission. There's another pillar that's just as important. I have to keep them safe. I have to make sure they're reliable. Employee safety continued to be our top priority. But the top manager of Cats Light Rail moved to Charlotte after leaving his last job amid a series of alarming safety decisions. Deltron Harris's LinkedIn profile says he was hired by Cats in December 2020, coming from Washington's Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. We found this report released in the lead up to Harris's departure that found a series of major ongoing issues of the Rail Operations Control Center, where Harris was director. According to the report, Harris made a number of concerning safety choices and directed rail controllers to violate safety rules and procedures. Is that concerning for their safety and the safety of, of passengers? It's very concerning. Luana Mayfield is an at-large council member. We showed her the report from Washington to see if it raised concerns for the man now running Charlotte's light rail. Please stand clear. The doors are closing. The report detailed a number of specific allegations against managers and leaders at the ROCC, including its director, Deltron Harris. One controller claimed Harris told them to instruct a train operator to move a disabled train without verifying that all the doors were closed and no customers were on the tracks. In another instance, the report says Harris authorized restoring power to a rail line while emergency personnel were still on the roadway. In an interview with the investigators, Harris claimed that if he wasn't directing the employees in these situations, letting them just follow the written policy could create additional risks. Our residents deserve better than that, and the council deserves better than that. Unlike the city's bus system, the light rail is operated directly by CATS, not a contractor. In a statement, a CATS spokesman says the decision to hire Harris was made by Chief Operating Officer Alan Smith. WBTV emailed Katz about this story on October 5th. Two days later, we broke the news that Smith was retiring. One week later, the city announced Katz CEO John Lewis was resigning. With all the turnover, Mayfield says the responsibility for Katz operations rests with Charlotte City Manager Marcus Jones. We are responsible to make sure that the city manager is held accountable and that he is then holding his staff accountable. David joins us now here in studio to talk uh, more about this. Appreciate you coming in. Uh, so what did Katz have to say about this safety record in Washington? Yeah, on top of telling us who actually hired Mr. Harris, they did send us a statement about the safety issue. Mm -hmm. They said in a statement that, quote, Mr. Harris was hired because of his extensive experience in transit, as well as his record of safety, leadership, and knowledge of rail. They also sent a link to another report. They claim found the report from the Metro Safety Commission unsubstantiated. But the follow-up report they sent me really didn't mention safety concerns and instead focused on allegations of a toxic work culture that this follow-up report said didn't exist. So not really apples to apples in terms of what we were reporting on for this story. Uh, let me ask you about Luana Mayfield. She said her takeaway this is that we need to look closer at, at the city manager, right? Marcus Jones and, and not the CATS CEO. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It, it just becomes impossible for them to manage all the way down to every level of any city department organization and then especially CATS and the buses system, you know, even has contractors in that situation. So mm -hmm. it gets a little dicey about whether they really can. Ultimately, they're in charge of hiring and keeping the city manager. That is really their lever of power that they can pull. The city manager is basically in charge of everybody else. So she is calling on him to get more in the weeds and know what's going on in these different departments. The buck stops here kind of a thing, exactly. right, in that office. Uh, safety has come up certainly time and time again here in your re reporting on CATS. What does this mean? I think people are going to wonder, for me as a passenger, are there things I need to be worried about? I think we should be worried that we're not getting more transparency from the city and what they've promised to do to give us a better look inside CATS and these issues. First, the city promised they would do an audit of the bus system and with the contractor. 
That's just kind of disappeared. I haven't gotten any answers mm. on where that is. Also a review from managing partners, this organization to see how leadership is set up and whether there could be better changes to that. Well, that's being delayed too. Uh, we've previously found that some safety records are not being reported to federal authorities like they're supposed to be. Right. So there's just a lot of things that we're not getting told. And until there's better transparency, uh, we should be asking questions. Absolutely. We know you will be doing that for us. And all of David's previous reporting, by the way, is on our website. Uh, just head to WBTV.com. David, appreciate you coming. Happy to be here. Good